Good day everyone, how are you all doing? So I decided to make this video as I can because um, over times the Holy Spirit has always been putting one thing or the other in my spirit, in my mind to talk about but most times I just shy away from it. I'm like, ooh, listen to me. I don't have a good background. I don't have a good place to do all of that. And do I even have the audience? You know, I get discouraged and I don't do it. There was a time I actually even did a video and it didn't make it anywhere. Even my status, my Instagram, my Facebook, it didn't make it anywhere. So I'm just, it's just there. But this one is different because um, I have a testimony to share. I have someone to encourage I, I, the Holy Spirit is telling me that someone need this, you no, know? and um, that's why I'm sharing it. So, yesterday I had a down moment. Yesterday I, I would I even put it um, without spilling too much. Um, I had this um down moment that I cried to bed, you know, for one reason or the other. I have some questions. I have some uncertainty. I have some questions I was not getting answer, you know, I, I had my own moment actually. So that was that. And when I woke up this morning, I went to church. Actually, I'm attending a discipleship class, which is supposed to start 7.20, later 7.30. And I got around 7 for something or other, but I was late. So I had to stand up all through the class. That was the punishment for my list command. I'm the class captain. So I stood for an hour that the class was running. So that's not the story. I'm just trying to tell you how my, you know, slept, cried all night, like slept on that and um, prepared for church. And I still got late to church, you know, one thing or the other, which is not an excuse. Because one of my pastors will say, your excuse, if you tell it to God, is will it be meaningful? Like, can you tell God and, you know, see that he will see these things with you? If you cannot even tell God as an excuse, you shouldn't tell it to man as an excuse. So I held on to that. So reason for my lateness, let's forget about that. So I, I, I stood all through and I went for... Um, Sunday school, my Sunday school was not really Sunday school. I had to go and tie my ghillie because I went to church without ghillie. And I cannot tie ghillie like this. I'm not even be extra late. So I had to tie my ghillie and I joined this Sunday school. After Sunday school and church began, I was just dull. Normally in church, we dance, we laugh, but I was just myself, you know. A friend of mine that I do sit in my father, like a permanent sit anyway. I always pay for someone not to sit. And when they sit, I'll sit elsewhere. But I'm just trying to tell you, I have a strategic place strategic place i sit in church because i'm able to dance at the edge i'm able to move out to ride, um, dance you know if i'm the middle i'll be restricted i mean i like dancing and taking all the space that is not where we're going so i was kind of moody i was listening to the sermon and the holy spirit was telling me some things i was still struggling with that and what did the holy spirit say the holy spirit was saying that so are you going to let yesterday's issue not make you dance today you know how you dance for the Lord. So are you not going to do that for the Lord? Is there something too big for the Lord to do? So are you saying that this issue can be settled to all? Will it really determine your mood throughout? You know, the Holy Spirit was, you know, thank God for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Sometimes I don't even get to tell people what the Holy Spirit tell me because it looks like, man, it doesn't really make sense to some people. So... I'm trying as much as possible not to bore you, and it's going to. It's already three minutes forty six seconds, but I will try. For those that want to listen, they can listen. So I was going through some tutorial. I was listening to the preaching, and the preaching was like, uh, more like the issues I was battling with. So I was just like, God, am I not going through the wrong direction? And the topic of um, the today's preaching was speeding in the wrong direction. So I was like, hope I'm not speeding in the wrong direction. I don't want to miss it in every area of life. You know, God help me. And the Holy Spirit was still giving me my baskets, like how we do. So I was just there. And um, the lady in the front, Biola, have been signaling to me, like, I'm not dancing. I didn't, later, she had to move to my side. Like, what was happening? No police. Well, you're not dancing. You know, can I, can I hope you are good. This one you're looking. I just smiled and I would dance, I would dance. But I knew with him that I was not there. But the Holy Spirit was, you see, you see, it's obvious. People know you for that. And you don't even know if it is your own dance that is triggering other people and making some people happy, you know. So I just like, okay, I'm going to that. I, I changed my mindset, you know, about that. Then, before the Thanksgiving, before the dance that I actually danced, another 
point of view where the Holy Spirit actually ministered to me was Pastor Mrs. Song. So past, people were sharing testimony and Pastor Mrs. came and she reads the song. Sorry, I'm a bad singer, I know. I love to sing, but I don't have the good voice. And me and Beats, we always fight. When I tell people, they laugh, but me and Beats, we understand. So it's just like, Hope I did not jump. Even when I'm singing it right, I'm always feeling like, see, you people know the song. Kama jo kayoka fugo. Kima ishe ni kba agbara Oluwa lo nyi ya to go Ogo taye ri ton kba ri wo Like, this is where the Holy Spirit was talking to me. You know the song, please sing it, thank you. So, the Holy Spirit was telling me that Ogo taye ri ton kba ri wo Shogo no re to wa mo di Shogo no re to wa down Is this the glory that people see And they are shouting of Is this this glory that is looking dull? Is it still this same glory that is moody and looking all sad and all of that, like something happened? This glory cannot even, this glory is always dancing and, and being happy, you in chaos. So why is this chaos different, you know? The Holy Spirit, when, when Pastor Mrs. was singing this, I was singing it and I was shedding tears. People that know me very, very well know I'm very, very emotional. But I'm, because I'm strong, you will not know, and you might not even notice. So I was trying to hide the tears from dropping. I was just singing. I had to raise my head like this, and I was pushing the tears backward and um, using my handkerchief. Like. So, this we was telling me that song was for you. She was not singing. She was singing indirectly to me. And the menstruation from the song was... Oh, hallelujah, Hosanna. Like... At the end of all this, at the end of all, at the end of all this trial, it will be hallelujah. At the end of all this, it will be joy overflow. People will still see your glory and say, ah, ever joy. I want to be like ever. And most of the people don't be like me. You don't even know what I'm going through. So don't convert the wrong thing. And not that I'm doing bad. Yes, I'm doing well. But you know, people should not just say, ah, I want to be like this. I want. To. You cannot even go through half, through half of what I'm going through. Do you understand? So... I just want to encourage someone that no matter the situation, especially in the presence of God, be happy. You know, you might go through the pains, you might laugh it off, you might cry it off, you might dance it off. If that is all, do it. Like, am I speaking what I'm supposed to speak? Like, cry it out, let it all out. Yes, let it all out. And in the presence of God, be happy. That's the way your sorrow. If it is laughing, you know, also laugh away your sorrow. If it is ministration, you know, minister you like let it all out. Don't be overwhelmed by the issues. And the devil is always happy when we are down. The devil is always happy when 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 things are going his way. So even when things are seems to be going his way, we should prophesy and give that assurance that no, you don't determine how I look, you don't determine what I go through. I'm a child of God. I'm a royal priest with our only royal priest with our only nation. Prophesy it into the light that dwelleth in the secret place of the most that shall abide under, under the shadow of the Almighty. And I don't think anybody under the shadow of the Almighty will experience failure, we experience uh, marital delay, we experience barrenness, we experience uh, poverty, all of that. Before my story gets so much, while I was coming back from church, I decided to take bike, but the bike man did not carry me. And I remember that my gown, my I might not really be able to enter bike and sit comfortably on, on the bike. To, like the one I entered in the morning, my leg, I don't know if I had a fracture or something. I'm still not feeling the leg very well because maybe more zoop or something. So I just decided not to enter bike. So I trekked. So I was coming, I saw a banner. And I don't know. Something just said I should look at the banner. I saw the banner and I saw the picture of a young man. And it, they wrote missing. The young man is missing. And they wrote the age, the height and all of that. The young man is um, 32 years old and I'm 32 years old. He's 5 feet and something, something tall. He's this, is that. Last thing was in Lake If he's one. Anybody that sees him will be given 5 million there. I'm like, that's my age mate, missing. But here I am. I'm not missing. I'm not in the mortuary. I'm not in the hospital. I'm alive and I'm thinking. 
what will the family of that person be thinking what will even the person be thinking where he is they don't even know if he's alive they don't know if he's dead they don't know where he is do you understand and for somebody to be able to say they'll give you some of five million for seeing that person you know that it's not just a nice person because god forgive me god for you somebody if chicken lost in my house <laughs> I don't want to be kind of funny person I am. I don't want to be, I'm serious here. So let me just maintain this seriousness. So I'm just like, five million never. I'm like, God, it's not even about the money, but they don't mind spending the money in this other economy just to see the person. That is how valuable human being is. Even when you think you are nothing, you are, maybe you think you are an entity, maybe you think you are a liability. People can't afford that you get lost. Except the family you come from is not where they kind of appreciate you and all of I don't know about that, but you are important. That is the most important thing. The message I'm passing across is that you are important. You are an illiterate, oh, you are important. You are very, very important. And I pray they see that, that young man. I wanted to go back and snap the picture while I was thinking and coming back, but I thought people would think I want to snap because of the five million. But later, like, would you even. Mm, what you own with what people think you posting it might actually be helping someone might actually you know maybe someone might see him and i feel bad for not even snapping but that's to tell you that no matter what you are going through people are going through something worse than you your present po position is someone's prayer point and so even if you are saying that you are not where you are somebody is praying to be where you are though we tend to aspire for the best and for the better but you should always give thanks. We should always give thanks. In every situation we find ourselves, we should always give thanks. And that's why I've come to say thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for the situation because it is sorted. It is dealt with. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. While I was coming, the Holy Spirit led the song in my heart to sing. And I seem to have forgotten. I just pray God help me. So I'll sing it and I might merge it to the video. So I hope I've not been able to bore you. And I just hope that one or two person sees this, appreciates it, and maybe it ministers to them. I think the Holy Spirit will do his work. But I just want to follow instructions and um, I'll be posting this. You know? I'll post it on my... <laughs> my um, Instagram is my business I can't, but now we stand up, post it. I, I, I can't afford to be disobedient. So I'll post it on all of my social media platform, you know. So people, one or two person might, might be moved with um, the words and um, all of that story. No matter what you're going through, God got you. God got you. God will do it and this is just a step to your testimony because when it's time for you to share testimony what would you say if you did not go through all of this what would you have to say so just God should just give us the strength to remain strong and steadfast and God will show us mercy I pray for great mercy for you for your family and even for me and my family I pray for great mercy I pray for that God guide and protect us you know, you will not fall sick. No of your family member will fall sick. No of your friends will fall sick. No untimely deaths. No accident. No evil in the name of Jesus. God will preserve you. God will protect you. God will show you favor. God will bless you mightily in the name of Jesus. As we are in a new month, all of your entire life desire, yeah, all of your entire life desire, as long as it's according to God's plan and purpose, consigning your life hmm? it will come to fulfillment in the name of jesus god will be with you god will guide you god will protect you god will order your steps in the name of jesus this new month you will not bury anyone you will not mourn over anyone in the name of jesus god will continue to be your strength your sheet and your buckler in the name of jesus and i pray that you that saw november you will see december you will see 2025 and all of the month in 2025 2026 2027 20 2020, yes, 2027, 2028, yes, I'm actually right. I'm not going to edit this. I'm going to post it the way it is, so it's unscripted, yeah. So God will continue to guide and protect us in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking your time to, to watch to the end. For those that watch to the end, 
God bless you. And I'm promising that whatever thing that has been led in my heart, even if it seems senseless to some people, I know it will be sensible and useful to some other persons. I would share. I won't hesitate to share and be a blessing to you, to myself, and to our generation at large. God bless you. Thank you.